pay for school, but you can't buy class. You can pay for school, but you can't buy class. You can pay for school, but you can't buy class. Perfect example. Look at my swag. You can pay for school, but you can't buy class. You can pay for school, but you can't buy class. You can pay for school, but you can't buy class. Perfect example. Look at my swag. What's going on, y'all? Chilly Saturday. So where I am, man, I'm just thinking about things about my life and where I'm going. And I do that constantly. I'm always in my head about something. You know what I mean? Everything is starting to fall into place for me. Like it's not moving as fast as I want it to go, but where I ultimately see myself, I'm getting closer and closer. I feel so blessed to have this right here, this camera. It's my my first animation for my my brand, right? EMG Asylum. First animation is called Marching on the Moon, right? I started the project when I was in college. We was all supposed to write a story idea over the summer. Came up with this idea of Marching on the Moon. Submitted, nobody picked it. A group of my college buddies, we got together, we tried to pick a project. We all put this project idea in the head, right? Out comes Marching on the Moon, right? <laughs> started doing it, never finished it. Two years later, I'm like, damn. I need an idea for my first animation. So I still had the storyboards from college. I just put the storyboards up, you know, put them on my top shelf in my closet. Forgot about it, right? I'm thinking about what short animation I'm gonna do. <laughs> it, got, it can't be too long, right? Because it's just me. But I wanna show that I can animate, you know what I mean? I wanna start, you know, building my demo room. I end up looking for clothes for my kids. I'll comes <laughs> march over the room, right? I'm like, okay. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> See, I got ideas, other story ideas, but the quality that I would need to produce the short isn't there. So I needed something to balance. If I do my do my due diligence, it's gonna be quality work. man when I because like that was the first time that I ever seen like a dog get hit by a car period but um yeah like when I saw my dog get hit by a car it was like it was something something totally different man you know they say like pets are they become like part of your family man so for me it was just like I lost a child you know my wife he told me oh, yeah we got to get another dog because I got twins they got to have a dog you know but I'm, I'm just it's weird, but I'm not really ready for that right now. I don't know if I'll ever be ready to get another dog, but hopefully, you know, once my kids turn like five or six, I'll probably warm up to the idea of having a, a dog. I'm sorry if my face was shiny, but it's hot as hell out here. Kinda wanna talk piggyback off of what I was talking about earlier. In this time, this age that we're living in, whatever your craft is, you gotta be diverse. If you're an artist like myself, you're an animator. You can't just learn storyboarding, you know what I mean? You can't just learn how to put an animatic together. You can't just learn sound. You gotta learn all of these things, especially if you're trying to be an entrepreneur. I think it's, it's very important to be diverse in whatever it is that you're doing. The world is speeding up, man. It's like, it's constantly moving, it's constantly evolving, and you gotta be the same way. You gotta be adaptable, man. You can't just lock yourself in. When I first got out of the military, you know, people asked me, like, Kaheem, what you gonna do, man? Like, I told them, I'm gonna go down to Houston and I'm gonna start my production company. Like, and that's my goal. Like, I don't care how big it is, how small it is. It's all about you and how you, what you believe about yourself what you believe that you can achieve for yourself and for your family. When you got people that's looking at, looking up to you, man, and people depending on you, it gives you a little bit more energy, a little bit more endurance to keep going when shit is not working out for you. Art changes the world, man. The first, the person who made the world was an artist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The clothes that you wear, the makeup that you put on, right? the jewelry that you wear, the way you make people laugh, you know what I mean? The way you tell stories, it's just, it's all art. 
for me, I believe that I'm here and a lot of people are here to, to shape the world and to change the way we think, the way we think about ourselves and the way that we think about the world and how society can change based on the projection, the art that you put out there. I want y'all to be blessed, man. I want y'all to be enriched. I want y'all to go out there and do whatever you want, man. Do whatever you, your heart leads you to do. If you like this video, hit that like button, comment underneath. Uh, this is my first vlog, official vlog. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace.